Try to breathe in a way that feels refreshing. We look at the news of the world outside and it's pretty bad. But you have to remember that the important thing is the news inside. What are you doing right now? The basic premise of the media is that what you're doing right now is not important, so you should give attention to what other people are doing. But the Buddha keeps reminding us that we shape our lives by what we're doing. And the best place to shape them is what we're doing right now. You can't go back and change what you did in the past. As for the future, it will depend on the good qualities you develop now. So focus right now. What's going on in your mind? We think about the past. This is the time of the year when we think about past and future, but the year that's past and the year that's going to come. And again, if you're going to think about the past and future, think about your actions. Think about the things you did well this year that you want to continue doing. And things are things that you regret having done. You realize they were mistakes. They harmed you or they harmed other people. You make up your mind not to repeat that. It's hard often to think back on our mistakes. But it's through thinking back on our mistakes that we learn. If you prevent yourself from remembering these things, it's like putting up a wall in the mind. What's behind the wall you don't know. And that gets in the way of your mindfulness. Because mindfulness is the ability to remember something. And it has different duties. When you think about the past, can you learn from lessons from the past? What should and shouldn't be done? As for the present moment, you look at what you've got in the mind. There are the potentials for skillful qualities and the potentials for unskillful qualities. And you don't just watch them arise and pass away. If there's something skillful that you haven't developed yet, okay, you remember that it's something that you really do want to develop. This is why we make resolutions in the new year. And then if you do have something that's good, you want to make sure you don't lose it. So think about both the good and the, and the bad things you've done in the past. And make up your mind. You're going to abandon the bad things and develop the good ones even further. That's when you're really mindful. That's when the Buddha says your mindfulness takes charge. Because there's so many lessons we can learn through our lives. But if we keep forgetting them, we have to keep learning them over and over again. And it hurts to learn them over and over again. So do your best to think about what you could do better this year. As the Buddha said, what makes a year or a day auspicious is not the stars and it's not things outside. It's what you do, how you look after your mind right here, right now. Because the year is made up of what? Moments right here, right now, right here, right now, just in succession. So as long as you've got right here, right now under your control, you can take care of the whole year. So focus on the present and then make reference to the past when you, there are lessons to be learned. And things you want to accomplish in the future, you keep those in mind as well. What needs to be done, because the Buddha says, you look for long-term welfare and happiness. Or the emphasis on the long term. My brother was telling me yesterday that there was a psychologist who wanted to do a study of people who go for short-term happiness as opposed to those who go for long-term happiness. And he decided to look around. Well, where are the people who go for long-term happiness? It took him a while, but he finally settled on Buddhist monks. So he studied Buddhist monks for a while and found that, yes, they really were happier because they looked for the long term. Of course, that was something I could have told him a long time ago. But it's curious that the looking for people who look for long-term happiness are not many out there. But make sure that you're one of those people who looks for long-term happiness. That's how you show compassion for yourself and compassion for all the people around you.